The concept of servant in the Christian tradition, you can't get into magic schools with the mark of a slave. First, you have to remove it. But Christianity insists that all people are slaves and servants, and other people do not exist. If you read the Old Testament, the entire five books, carefully with a pencil in hand, everything will come together, and you will have no questions as to why Christianity and Judaism call people included in them, servants and slaves. Moreover, you will understand why and become rightly proud of this accomplishment if you read all the primary sources. Only someone who has never read the Bible, either the Old or the New Testament, can become outraged. To such a person, the concept of servant has a perfectly normal pagan meaning. Servant means slave, that is, a serf in essence, while in the primary sources, the concept of servant has a slightly different meaning that completely changes the whole understanding. That's why Christians who know their teachings, and even more so the Jews who gave birth to it, do not shy away from the name servant or slave because they put a slightly different meaning into it. Nevertheless, the mark of a slave is the seal of belonging. If it has been placed, it must be removed. Otherwise, you will not be able to establish contact with Odin or with the other gods. It says so in the teachings of Odin. In the teachings of the runes, that slaves can't learn magic tools. Thralls are made for other tasks. They are not made for magic. Gods forbid magic tools from falling into the hands of thralls. And everyone who comes to me to study is either an atheist or undergoing this realization and reckoning with their debts. It's my rule and my requirement. Again, it's a rule at my school. I don't know and can't tell you how it is in any other school.